What's going on YouTube, this is Trade Raw, and today I'm bringing you a little bit of a different video. I managed to get into a six man for the first time in my Cold War career. And yeah, we we spawned trap on Nuketown, which is absolutely insane. If you haven't done this yourself, then I definitely recommend getting in a group post on Xbox or if you're on a PC, uh, PC PlayStation, whatever, just get a group going. You know, get a load of good players in and then get onto Nuketown Domination and get into spawn trapping because it is like probably one of the best things I've done on Cold War. It, you just, every single game, they just spawn in the same place. You get so many kills, you get so many kill feeds, so many streaks, you get harps in 24 seven. It's absolutely crazy. I managed since playing spawn trapping. I've literally had, I've had two kill chains now. So if you're struggling to get those rapid kill feeds for the dark ops challenges, then I definitely recommend getting onto Domination Newtown, whacking an LMG on, and spawn trap because it is crazy. So yeah, what you need to do is whack sentry guns on and harps that's all you need really you need to put the sentry gun on c flag and you can put a sentry gun on the middle jeep on the left side this will keep them in the back of c spawn so you can literally just hold the lt down hold the triggers down hold the firing down all you have to do is aim and fire and you they will literally just keep running out of the back fence it's absolutely insane yeah, it, it is crazy. It is absolutely crazy. This is the kill chain now. I've got like 10 kills, like rapid. It's just because it, they just spawn in their spawn all the time. If you lock it down with sentry guns, they'll just keep spawning. And hey, sometimes they do flip, but you know, you've got constant harp up, so you're always going to know. So if you're struggling to get the kill feeds, like I say, go on this. Yeah, and you can get the Dark Ops Master, like I did the other day, just from doing this. I couldn't get a kill chain until I started doing this and it's absolutely mad absolutely madness so also if you can't get a nuclear medal you know this is another easy way to do it just make sure just make sure that you have an LMG on because it's absolutely crazy like LMGs are so OP on the game as you know it's it's just wonderful it's wonderful to use all you have to do is hold the triggers down and shoot it's easy they die so quick you know your whole team needs to lock down a flag a flag you need to always get them in the a flag spawn because they they will keep spawning lock it down with sentry guns and then you will be onto a winner with this game mode because it's the most fun i've had the most kills i've had in the game playing this i everyone gets 100 pluses everyone gets nuclears every single game it's so easy it is unfair on the enemy team but if they stay in then they're gonna get absolutely murdered because we constantly kill as soon as they spawn in they die and that is pretty much it so yeah if you're struggling to get the dark ops challenges get onto this if you want to have 100 plus game plays or nucleus or whatever you want to go for high kill streak uh high gun streak on your leaderboard better kd better win loss ratio whatever you want this is definitely a game changer this will rapidly boost all your stats up but if you don't want to boost your stats up because of score per minute uh, skill based matchmaking then yeah don't play this but if you do want to improve your stats and that then get onto this game mode and start slaying some noobs start trapping getting a big six man and absolutely go for it and you will be sure to have fun with it just like i have so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in a bit. See you later.